Hello guys, I am Rajiv and welcome back to my channel Rajiv Code Lab. So guys, in today's lab, I am going to show you how you can create a web socket using Raspberry Pi Pico W and we are going to build a dashboard where we read the temperature sensor value live with the chart. So guys, basically we are going to read the temperature sensor value of Raspberry Pi Pico W and we push in every one second to the web page and we plot the chart okay, using a chart.js framework. So it's a very simple and nice project guys. So let's come to the PC and get it started. Okay guys, so we are all set. So let's first import all the required libraries. So first machine for get the temperature. Next one is time to just make it interval and next one is network for connect to the Wi-Fi okay now let me quickly write a function for connecting to the Wi-Fi okay so let me just create one instance of a station if okay now if not sta if dot is connected then we print connecting to the network okay and then sta if dot active We'll make it as a true. Then we provide our Wi-Fi credential. So here you need to put your SSID. Okay, and then password. Perfect. Then not sta if dot is connected will pass and here we will print connected to IP and we get the IP of connected Wi-Fi uh, dot if config and at the zero index okay sorry the zero index perfect now let me just call this function to see if everything works fine and I'm saving this file as main.py okay now let me quickly run this perfect it's connected to this IP address so guys to create a web socket we need to install micro dot library which is a web framework you can see the impossibly web sorry a small web framework for MicroPython. so this is a very uh, nice library guys you can make a rest api you can uh, make multi-page website okay and even we can create a web socket also so let's install this for that we need to just copy this and come here and then tools manage packages and here you need to just search and here we got it install okay perfect now let's import some classes from this micro dot so we need to from micro dot import first is micro dot and then send file to render the HTML and from micro dot micro dot dot web socket import with web socket web socket that's all we needed guys now we are going to create the instance of this ape equals to micro dot okay so now we, I'm going to just create a route for the home 
so let me just app dot route and for the root we will write and then we define one function here a sync dev let's name it as an index and here we need to pass request okay and then return send file and here you can give the file name guys so let me just give at index.html and then the last step is to app.run and here I'm just making the flag debug equals to true so that I can see the port okay so now we need to create this file here so let me just quickly create index.html okay and I'm just writing simple HTML guys HTML and head and title I can give WebSocket okay then body and we'll close the body here and here I'm just writing h1 temperature and we'll just save and run this okay so uh, to check that whether everything is working fine or not so let's save and you see uh, guys this server has started on 5000 port so basically it means guys uh, our web server is running on this IP and on top of that we just need to add this uh, port okay so let me just quickly copy this and here we write 5000 port then temperature we are getting okay so now let me just come here and write the code for the getting the temperature okay for that we are going to create a web socket definitely so for that let me write app dot route and here I can give the name as temperature temperature okay oh, not this uh, we need to add this with WebSocket to make it as a WebSocket with WebSocket with WebSocket okay now we define our function and here we need to pass WS also as a parameter so here guys I need to write a while loop so I'll true and basically here uh, we need to read the temperature okay uh, from that inbuilt uh, temperature sensors for that actually I have already code on my gist okay so you can come here and uh, see or uh, I push all the projects code here guys so just keep checking and okay so this is for temperature yeah let me just copy this part up to here and up to here let me just to show you okay perfect now let me just paste and proper end indentation okay now we got the temperature okay now we need to write okay let me just uh, go here okay now we need to use uh, do like a uh, wait and ws dot send and here we need to convert this temperature okay into the string okay perfect now uh, I'm just making a uh, interval of one second okay so one you can make as per your need guys so I'm just making for one okay I need to stop okay and guys let me just update this uh, HTML code to basically uh, listen for that WebSocket events okay so so that we can just uh, so the temperature here so for that let me so let me create one h2 here and uh, let me give the id equals to temp okay and leave it leave it as empty h2 
two now in the body we'll use a script tag okay now let me just create instance of the socket new web socket and here I need to write like for the basically WebSocket protocol we need to write either WS or WSS so I'm just writing WS and location dot host so guys this is uh, basically uh, a way to get the host so in this case basically what we'll get is just a IP okay so we'll get till here okay and location dot host and then we need to write our the basically endpoint which we have created that is temperature okay that's all now we need to attach event basically to this socket add event listener okay spelling is right I make mistake in a spelling guys message and then uh, I mean just uh, making as an event so that's fine and let me just close this is also close semicolon perfect now here what we have to do is let me just get temperature equals to uh, I'm just passing to the decimal okay first float event dot data okay and let me just uh, here console log also so that we can see on log event okay now I'm just getting uh, I mean using simple uh, document dot get element by ID to get the ID of this h2 and I will read I mean keep pushing the uh, basically the web socket temperature I mean uh, temperature sent from the web socket that I will keep pushing here okay so document dot get element by ID and ID is temp okay, dot inner HTML and here I'm using like a plus equals to so that the I mean all the events I can just uh, append basically so yeah and here I need to write like a temperature temperature then plus is and I'm just putting a, a new line basically for the I mean line break so that HTML tag we need to use here and that's perfect I hope it's fine now let's run this okay and let's come here let me open this uh, okay that's fine uh, let me let me yes perfect now reload and a web socket is not defined okay uh, uh, what web socket is not defined sorry uh, I need to write in the caps web socket okay I need to stop then rerun this come here reload add event listener again I think I made some spelling mistake it's not a function come here and see add LIS T E <laughs> I'm missing guys sorry for my uh, wrong I mean typo okay uh, now it should be fine guys please yeah <laughs> so now you can see right in every second I am just getting here okay you can see this part also now we can close this part it's not required okay so now let's bring our original HTML here 
and see the I mean the nice UI so this is a basically functionality guys this is what it's working so we are not going to do anything here I will just update the HTML I have already created this HTML okay so just let me just drop this and I'm um, let me just open here and I can explain I mean it's uh, very straightforward but yeah so guys let me upload this to the our Pico and then I will explain how it okay now let me just close this let me close this also it will make us confuse okay uh, so now let me run okay now you will see the magic guys yeah okay so here you can see the nice uh, actually yeah, I added a over here so but yeah you can see 30 okay let me just try to put I mean uh, I, now I see the temperature is very constant uh, like in the morning while I will developing so at that time I see uh, very uh, I mean fluctuation so now we see 31 30 so okay this chart would okay you see now it's started playing okay so it's very constant guys so uh, just I wanted to show you very nice it was so nice in the morning I, I will add the screenshot here guys I'm just trying to put the uh, my hand on the temperature sensor so it will be uh, change little bit okay now it's yeah 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 <laughs> so that's what we wanted to see here guys yeah perfect come on up and down okay guys so let's come to the HTML and try to understand okay so yeah let me open this okay I need to stop okay so these are the titles guys you can see here okay so this is the title I, I I don't want to explain you HTML okay uh, but yeah so library what all library I'm using here that I can explain to you here so these are the chart.js so basically whatever chart I am plotting this part so this is coming from the chart.js and this one for to making this one okay this nice uh, meter okay so for that I am using this uh, Google APIs I mean this uh, font family okay and this long CSS starting from here to come down it's very big guys yeah up to here now uh, this is just a header and in the header I am I have just added uh, this Raspberry Pi image to just uh, give a nice look and then the text so that's what this part okay header close now this is a frame part this frame is basically for making this one this uh, meter actually okay so it is starting from here and closing there and again uh, this temperature is here okay so here I'm just adding and let me show you quickly on the script tag so here again I mean the same thing it's a I mean you, you see it's the same code here okay and the same message and here it's the EV I mean part, I mean it's like an event uh, there I made so it's EV that's fine and uh, then I have uh, up added this function here okay and sending the temperature like every time uh, after the parsing okay so this what we'll do uh, this will be basically added to the two place one is temp meter and one is temperature so basically temp meter is this one and temperature is this one okay so both places it's uh, basically updating the te temperature okay so and now this is a function for the update graph so for that we are just sending the chart ID level and value okay so if you see this is the function where I'm uh, calling this temperature I mean this you can make anything and temperature degree Celsius okay and uh, so basically this will be printed here so this is this is part okay and then temperature the actual value we are sending here and these are the some basic uh, very basic uh, configuration you can see on the chart.js guys nothing extra here 
so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video please don't forget to share subscribe and if you have any query just uh, comment us thanks for watching we'll see in the next video